Hey y'all, it's my break time, heading out to Project Gus Gus. I wanted to go check out the shift linkage while I had time. Um, in the flex video, you guys, I told you guys I was struggling to get it into four low. So I'm going to show you guys how to adjust linkage, well at least how I do it. If it works, sweet. If not, we'll have to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. So let me get underneath the Jeep and show you guys what we got to deal with. Alright you guys, so here's the shifter linkage for the transfer case. It's a little hard to see, but you got two rods. You've got, let's see if I can get my hand in here. This rod that comes off your shifter handle, and it actually has a bolt on it. It's right there. And then you've got your linkage that comes off your handle and goes back down here to your T case. Oh, where am I at? Sorry, guys. So what I gather is, when I shift this backwards inside the Jeep, it pushes this forward. So, I've got a nut, or a bolt here, and I'm thinking, I'll shift it, and see where it ends up. For four low. Sorry guys, thinking as I talk here. And once I get it where the shifter is in four low, I'll loosen the bolt. And then I'll shift the T case into four low all the way to where it's locked and go from there. And yeah, I know my T case is leaking. It's been leaking since I had the shop do the SYE install. I don't think they waited for the uh, RTV to cure all the way. Okay, so as I was stating, I'm going to shift this back. Four low. And actually, I think my Jeep needs to be in neutral for this. So I'll dig out the keys. It won't even kick all the way in. It keeps kicking it back out. So, we'll get back underneath there and try that adjustment. So with the four-wheel drive lever as far back as it would go, because it wouldn't lock into four-wheel drive, I loosened up this bolt here, which is a 13 millimeter uh, bolt head. And then I went back here and I shifted the T-case linkage all the way back into four low. Then I went back up top and made sure the four-wheel drive handle was in the four low position, not the neutral position. And then I loosened this now I'm going to snug this bolt up. And you guys, just good and tight. I don't want to break the bolt. Don't want to break or bend your shifter linkage either. So. Sound like I move things up top. Shoot. Yeah, we'll check it out. Hopefully it didn't move into the neutral position. And if we did, we'll just do it all over again. All right, now let me get up top and see what happened. All right, y'all, so I showed you how I tried to adjust the linkage, and I apologize, the Jeep's warming up. Um, for me, it didn't stick. I was having issues getting four low still. When I messed with the shifter by itself, or the linkage disconnected from the T-case, it still felt tight like it was binding up. I think what happened is my linkage got bent or damaged when the trans mount was uh, broke. When the transmission's bouncing up and down it can put pressure on other things that coordinate with it such as the linkage that runs between you can say the body to the floor pan. You can tell it's like it gets stuck and if it gets cocked it's going to cause it to bind and, and uh, run into issues. Um, people from what I've read too, the XJs, TJs, ZJs, Jeeps in general have this issue with the linkage on them at times. Um, so, video to come, 
the solution. I went through Novak Conversions and ordered up one of their cable shifter adapter kits to convert my setup to a cable shift mechanism. Uh, it's going to be kind of crazy the next month. We've got a lot to do to this thing before the off-road meet. So, uh, sorry this video wasn't more detailed. Uh, it's kind of hard to do when you're in tight spaces and fitting the camera. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. God bless and have a good day.